I used to be a federal litigator that represented these children and youths in court. And to families is an understatement. Every family we have taught to holistically self-advocate, not one case since 2010 has gone into litigation, which is astounding. These, thank you. These children and youths, who many had no help, and the parents that would come to us, even doctors and nurses who brought their children and youths to us would say exactly the same thing. We've tried everything. We've gone everywhere. Nothing has ever worked until we came to you. To say some of these children and youths lie is an understatement, and that's because we work as a team. So when you checked in, you met our small but formidable staff, Dr. Davis, Denise Mansell, Charles Alou, and Connie Drummond. Together with the parents, following through with everything, because it takes a unified team these children that were once going to be kicked out of school because they were biting teachers, weren't speaking, within a month are not being kicked out of school and the principals are asking, what medication do you have these children on? Well, they're not on any medication. Not that we're against that, but in these cases, it was because of the holistic therapies at Peace Valley Holistic Center. There's one young man who was one of our most approved some years ago, and you might recognize him from the video that Peace Valley Holistic Center has on our website. His name is Bobby Waite. To say that this young man has inspired me and stolen my heart and everybody else's at Peace Valley Holistic Center is an understatement. This young man has proven that label after label after label is complete and utter, you fill in the blank. <laughs> so this young man, about a week ago, we celebrated him on Peace Valley Holistic Center's website. His parents are here tonight. His parents are awesome. Vicki and Bill, wait, wave your hands. <laughs> Vicki and Bill Wade are tenacious, loving, empathetic, caring, highly intelligent parents who did everything they could for their child, who is now a man. And this young man is now an entrepreneur, he has two businesses, and he did something that nobody thought was possible. And in Bobby's own words to me, impossible is a fraud. And a video speaks a thousand words. Here's Bobby.